area around State Farm Stadium down in Glendale, Arizona might be the most secure location in the United States right now. <laughs> it's pretty safe. I mean, I knew security was tight for the Super Bowl. I had no idea how tight, really. Let me start you with some of the things that you would probably expect, right? More than 40 federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies are involved. The FBI's included. They've got 360 degree cameras all over the place. They say they've got every inch of the stadium covered. With nearly 200,000 fans expected, that's no surprise. But you see what's on your screen here? That's what surprised me. Organizers go to amazing lengths to protect the skies over the Super Bowl as well. From a U.S. Customs and Border Protection helicopter to F-16 fighter jets to a U.S. Air Force strato tanker that can refuel those jets in midair so they never have to land. Clearly, they're not taking this lightly. The FAA is imposing a flight restriction around the stadium that is 30 miles wide. And they're telling you, if those restrictions are violated, NORAD or Air and Marine Operations will engage, Ooh. which is military speak for don't go there. Uh, the message from law enforcement to anyone even thinking about committing a crime during the Super Bowl on the ground is simple. Don't do it or you're going to wind up in cuffs. Mm. I think September of 2001 changed everything. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of the, the lingering impacts of that. We were talking with oh, Gary yeah. Womack, one of our mm -hmm. longtime photographers upstairs, who was in New Orleans for the first post 9-11 Super Bowl. Mm. And he said just for security vehicles, security vehicles to get in, there were two gated checkpoints. Yeah. And wow. that was for security for person, security right? not in. for the general public. So Man. they take it seriously. I no like doubt. it like that, though. I think that's the way you got to be. Safe. I agree. All right.